Okay, let's walk you through setting up a Facebook group and also learning how to schedule posts. So first and foremost, you're gonna go to your desktop. You're going to click this little plus sign. Once you're here, scroll down to group. This is going to take you to the setup. So we're going to obviously name it whatever we feel like naming it. We're gonna keep it easy for this video. Um, and then we are going to choose private. This is totally personal. Um, it does need to be private if you're going to be posting any deals or anything, but you can make it public. I usually do private. You're going to make it visible. I always then go in and invite my husband or my best friend in case Facebook decides to put me in jail for some reason. Um, we never know what Facebook is going to pull. So then you're going to click create. Once you are here, it's going to give you, obviously, this picture. We want something different. You can create your own. It's a banner. You can create it in Canva, Typorama, any of those, or you can go to the Facebook marketing page and um, find one there, too. So what we are going to do is pray that, no, <laughs> is click edit. We are going to upload photos. Here is where you are, I have mine personally saved so um, that I can just upload it. I switch them off randomly from different um, parties, but we're just going to use this one because it works for now. So um, we're going to save changes. And there it is. So um, just to kind of, I probably should have centered that a little bit better, but for what we are doing, this is going to work. Now, as you can see, you've created the group. Um, something to kind of help you is we've created a team Facebook party outline. I always have that up on a separate tab. Here is where I'm going to go and scroll through these posts, see which ones I want to use, um, and kind of, um, kind of get a feel for what it is I want my party. So now these are all, you know, set graphics, what I would do is I would try and create your own so that you stand out. Your party is about you and your brand, your business. It is also, you could also do themed parties and make different graphics for that, birthday parties. Um, there's so much to do. But what I like to do is have a few different posts up that um, up before I even add my hosts and specifically my party guests so that they have something to look at when they join. The first post that I personally put up is a ready to shop link. So I'm going to show you this because there's a couple different things that you can do here on this part on this link. So what you're going to do is I'm going to click copy. I'm going to highlight it, click copy. Then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click paste. Um, so are you ready to shop? I'm going to put the reps or the hostesses shopping link right there. And then I'm going to sh choose, you can have this be the picture or you can add your own party picture or screenshot and crop this one if this is what you want. Like I said, I would make your own because there are thousands and thousands using this and you don't want Facebook to block yours. So for the sake of this, I'm just going to screenshot this even though I already have it on my computer just to kind of show you. So I just screenshotted that and then I am going to get out of this and click for a video. I'm gonna to go to recents and it's right here so I can put it up into my video or into my post. So here I'm just going to do a post. These are ones I want up right away so I'm just scheduling them. I'm not even scheduling them, I'm going to post because I want these up before my hostess even joins the group. So here I want this to stay at the top with the party link. So I'm gonna mark it as an announcement and then once I go back into it, Let's see, oops. Once I go back into it, I'm going to kind of make sure that it's refreshed so that it can be an announcement. Okay, so now it's at the top and then I'm going to pin it to the top. This means that it's going to stay at the top of the uh, Facebook group for when everyone's shopping, they can just scroll to the top and grab it. Now, how you schedule a Facebook um, post is, you are going to, so in this outline, it has different party outreach, what you send your hostess, that kind of stuff. Super helpful, um, but this is how you're going to schedule. This is obviously a pre-party post that we have up, but I'm going to show you how to schedule it anyway. So I'm going to copy and paste here. Go back to my party. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to pick a picture that I want for this. I usually have things saved on my screen, so I'm just going to click this one. 
that's not really going to work. And then I'm going to schedule it. So if I don't want it, if I want it to post right now, I'm going to click post. If I don't want it, I'm going to click this calendar. Then I'm going to choose, you know, pretend my party is starts on Thursday, on Tuesday. So I'm going to click Tuesday. It starts at 9 a.m. This is going to be my first post of the party. And then I'm going to schedule it. Now, this scheduling time is going to be on your own time zone. So if you have somebody in a different time zone and you want it to post at 9 a.m. that time zone, just check and see when 9 a.m. You know, if I wanted it to post on 9 a.m. in California, I'm in Mountain. So I'm just going to do 10 a.m. here, which will be 9 a.m. in California. Okay, so you, as you can see, that post is not here, but it is scheduled to post. Where, where you can see your posts that are scheduled is once you, let's refresh it again, once you um, refresh it, you are going to be able to see, let's see, oh, scheduled posts. You're going to be able to see the different posts that are coming, and then you can kind of go through and reschedule them if you want to. You're going to be having a ton here so you can kind of move them around if you feel like you want them in a different order.